Hey guys, Jack with Never Too Old Adventures, where you're never too old and it's never too late to get out there on an adventure. Today we're going to take a little adventure and I'm going to show you some places that might come in beneficial to you if you come down to Rockport, Texas and go fishing. Yes sir, we're going to go take a look at some spots to do a little wade fishing. And who else, you know, you just never know what I might show you down here in Rockport. So let's get ready and get on out of here. Yeah, folks, this is the Howard Murphy Airport Park. And as you can see right over there is the airport. So I just wanted to show you this. It's a good spot. I'm gonna show you a little bit more about it here in just a second, but I want you to notice the sign here, right here. Folks, there are some alligators here. So far I've fished here and haven't had any trouble with the old gator. Uh, there's a pair of them, and if I can find them, I'll even try to get some video of them. If not, I got some stock video back at the house. All right, here we go. All right, guys, we just pulled into uh, Murphy Park, and I'll just show you just here. It's a uh, pretty nice little park here. And you got the facilities over there. Got some tables. Really pretty. They keep it up pretty nice. Got a nice parking area here. Picnic tables. Well, let's move on down to the water. all up and down this bank here but as you come uh, on those where the creeks come in it gets a little muddy out there and kind of sticky and the bottom here is oyster water's up really nice and high because we've had a lot of rain usually this oyster bed right here this little reef goes out a little farther and I usually fish right out there a little bit throw out that direction out in the big middle of the bay and uh, he used to do pretty good here uh, make sure you check your regulations and uh, the size of your trout because the game warden does like to stop by and check you. All right, guys. It's a beautiful day. Well, guys, that was Murphy Park. Uh, it's a nice little place. Like I say, you can catch some fish here, some trout and redfish and drum. And I seen one old boy pull a great old big alligator gar off that bar down there. So uh, there are some fish here. I usually use uh, shrimp under a popping cork, but I've seen people use some croaker and uh, fish on the bottom with dead shrimp or cut bait. So this is a good spot to try. Nice and easy, family oriented. Uh, they say. Some people say they've had trouble people breaking in their vehicles, but I've never had any trouble. But then again, I don't leave my vehicle out here at dark either. I'm usually off the water by dark and on the way to the house. So uh, just come, just make sure you watch what you're doing. Keep everything locked up and uh, you won't have any trouble at all. I've never had any trouble out here yet. So, uh, all right, let's go on and move to the next spot. Hey guys, thought I'd give you a little picture of your fishing buddy out here. Uh, so far he hadn't bothered anybody that I know of, but he's a pretty good sized little fella. Oh, he went under. Mom got too close and scared him. <laughs> but there he is in there. Dang it, I wanted to get a picture. Come on, alligator. Well, he jumped under the water, but I got some video back at the house of him, so. Uh... Oh, here he comes. Oh, that's his, that's the big one. Daddy. Probably daddy. Anyway, these are the guys you got to watch for down here in Rockport. All right, let's get out of here and leave him alone. <laughs> Definitely time to get back in the truck. Just be aware that they are here, uh, but they don't bother you. They usually are afraid of humans. Uh, they don't. Uh, 
usually don't bother humans, but uh, you know, make sure you keep your little kids and pets and everything <clears throat> close at hand. So, uh, you know, cause they, they'll get you. And, uh, and I always, when I fish here guys, I always make sure that my uh, fish stringer is not tied on to me, tight. I usually tie it so it'll come loose or just tuck it under my belt on my waders. But anyway, there you go. Let's get on down here. We'll go see something else. Hey guys, we are now headed out to our next location. We're gonna go over and I'm gonna show you a place over here in Lamar, Holiday Beach area that you can fish. And uh, we're starting over the Copano Bridge uh, right here. So we're gonna go to the other side over here. Let me get this turned around so you can see where we're going. It's a pretty long old little old bridge here. And also while we're going over this way, let me just tell you that uh, over here also, if you've got an RV, there's a, a state park, Goose Island State Park. They've also got a pier there that you can fish off that pier and there's a place to wade fish there. I don't have my state park stickers, so we're not gonna be able to go in there and take a look at that, but it is right over there. And actually it's right over that way over there. I know you probably can't see it because I can't zoom in while I'm driving, but uh, you definitely can uh, get out there and they've got places for your RV got hookups and everything and, and a nice pier with lights so that you can do some fishing on. stabilization on guys because it's a bumpy ride across this little bridge. All right. If you need to get bait, there's a little place right down here off the bridge called Sea Guns. They usually have bait. You can pick up some bait there. And then make you this first ride here at the Exxon. We're actually traveling north on 35, coming out of Rockport Fulton. And we're just gonna make a ride right here, just like you were going to uh, Goose Island State Park. guys I usually don't mention too many businesses but this one right here at Pops it's a tavern and it's got a cafe and everything but the reason I mention that is sometimes they say now I don't know that uh, George Strait comes in there and has some food and cold beer so uh, who knows you might want to chance take a chance come in and get some good food and maybe see a celebrity or two let's move on down the road here now sign for Goose Island State Park and make sure if you come down this way make sure you are real cautious about deer uh, even in the hot afternoon they'll sometimes be walking around down in here laying up in people's yards you just keep going straight down this road stay on this road At this stop sign, if you make a right-hand turn, you'll go out to State Park. But uh, we want to just continue straight right here. Lamar Beach Road. Got some nice houses out here, some lodges, and some fishing shacks. A 
talking about them alligators. They said they saw one right here at this boat ramp today. I saw it on uh, one of the fishing groups that I'm in. So just be aware again that they are out there and you just have to give them their space and they'll they'll give you your space <laughs> most of the time. Yeah, yo. Now this spot right over here, guys, if you see that pond back there, that pond back there has definitely got an alligator in it and I'll put some footage of him on there because I got pictures of him. But this is a real nice area through here. I haven't ever fished up here by any of these piers or anything. I usually go down here around the corner down here. We're gonna go down here and park. What are these boys doing over here? Shooting clays. There you go. Look at that. Out there practicing. It won't be long before duck season gets here, so everybody's out getting their practice in. Now guys, I want y'all to be, if you, if you fish it out here, make sure you watch out for those big old rocks down there. Because uh, you definitely can uh, twist an ankle, get in trouble, fall down, fill your waders up, all that other good stuff. But I'm going to stop right here. And we're going to get out and take a look. When you park, make sure you park in some of this white sand and not in any of the mud holes. Because if you don't, you're going to get stuck. Make sure you get your car all the way off the road. Because it does get a little traffic out here every once in a while. But mostly it's golf carts. Alright, let's get out and take a look. Yeah, I usually fish right here. Hope that wind's not too bad. I usually come down here. One of the reasons, one of the reasons I come down here and fish is that I can get in the water right there. There's not any of the rocks. I don't have to worry about slipping and sliding and falling off. And then I can go right on out that way. I usually fish, I don't know whether you can see it or not, but there's a, a white post out there. And uh, I usually walk out past it. And I use uh, live shrimp here also. But this is a real good spot for redfish this time of year with cut mullet. I've caught some really good reds out of here on cut mullet. All right, beautiful day today. If, you, if you're fishing out here during duck season, there will be somebody in that blind over there. And every once in a while, they'll pop up and shoot at the duck. It'll scare the babooey out of you. There's a shoreline right there, down through that way. All right, let's move on to our next location. I'm gonna take y'all around here and uh, let y'all see the big tree. We got some guys out there fishing this afternoon even, out there waiting. I hope they're catching some big ones. If you got a kayak right here, a lot of people will park right down in here and they'll launch their kayak here and then go back up that way and uh, fish up there past those piers and those old broken down piers and everything. Make this corner right here and come on up this way. And I was gonna take you by the big tree. This old oak tree, several years old. A thousand years old. It is. It is, yeah. Yeah, that old tree down in there, it's a thousand years old. Big tree, Goose Island State Park. Got a lot of history in that tree. It's withstood a lot of hurricanes, a lot of weather. So, anyway, it's a big one. 
All right, let's move on down the road. Guys, we're down in Fulton, and I just want to show you where uh, where I get my bait at, and some of the little things that are going on down here in, in Fulton. Some of the things that, uh, look, you got a little carnival or something going on over here. All right, let me flip you around so you can see what's going on. Bouncy houses going on. Usually down in this area, there's always something happening. Looks like we've got a wedding going on out there. Good luck. All right. This right here is one of our public piers and they catch a lot of good fish off this one. It's almost brand new. It's only been open for a little while. Uh, this is the Fulton Pier. See some nice fish come off of there if you wanted to come down and fish off the pier. There's one of the bait stands right there. That's the Fulton Marina. bring the kids down there's a little playscape over here place for the kids to play <laughs> she'd walk right into the truck yeah she would. well there's another reason for being very careful down here some of our kids got that phone in front of their face and in their ear and they don't see you, they don't hear you, and they really don't care. Terrible thing. Just want to show everybody here guys the bait shops will fly these flags that one's got live shrimp uh, live mullet and live mud minnows so uh, that way you, you can figure out where you want to stop and I usually use this bait shop right here they usually got pretty good shrimp sometimes they're a little too big and too little but you just got to take what you get most of the time Again, you notice the flags out there. This guy's got, let's see, you got live shrimp, crab, live mullet, and live croaker is a yellow flag. Guys, this is another good place to fish. Uh, I've never fished it, but I've seen a lot of fish that come out of here. Uh, this is called Little Bay. And uh, that far side over there is Rockport Beach. They do have a pier also, but it uh, costs you 10 bucks a day to get in over there unless you got a uh, yearly pass. And uh, again, live shrimp beneath the popping cork. 
it does really good out here you can see so i don't know if you can see it in the video or not but some of those black areas those darker areas out there are oyster reefs and the trout like to get up in there and uh, well so the redfish too and feed uh best time right in here i've been seeing is uh, early morning and late afternoon so uh and if you want to just a uh, locator on this is behind the mcdonald's good spot behind mcdonald's rockport texas all right guys here we go let's go see where we can go next guys here's one more spot you might want to try got a rock like jetty out there this is down just past rockport central downtown and it goes out that way and around that way and then of course uh, over here you might try some wade fishing out there uh, they say there's good flounder out there i haven't tried it myself but uh, i'm going to one of these days i was thinking about going tonight and try to gig some but by the looks of that water it's probably going to be too messed up chocolate color to see anything so anyway, that's a couple of the spots. Well, all right, guys, that's a few of the old spots that I go fishing at. Some of them I haven't tried yet, but I've heard they're pretty good. So I thought I'd share those with you. I hope you try them, and I hope you have really good luck and catch some big ones there. All right, well, let me know if you do, and let me know how well you do. We'll talk with you later. Have a good one. This is Jack, Never Too Old Adventures where you're never too old and it's never too late to get out there and adventure.